Hi, today we're going to take the unboxing review of Hasbro's Bay Boy Burst Evolution Switch Strike Starter Set D30 TB O Sets Legend Spizen S3. Also known in Japan from Takari Tommy as Legend Spriggan 7 Mirage. So, America by Hasbro is Legend Spryzen S3 7 Mirage. Japan, Takari Tommy Legend Spriggan S. I mean, Legend Spriggan 7 Mirage. So, notice that. Here in America, we changed the name from Spriggan to Spryzen, and we put S3 before 7 Mirage. In Japan, they have Spriggan, and no F S3. It's just Spriggan, you know, M7, but both kept the um, 7 Mirage and Legend. The owner of this bay is Red Eyes. And no, that's not, you know, I summon Red Eyes play a trade into the field. No, that's not Red Eyes from the Duel Monster game from Yu-Gi-Oh. It's Red Eyes from Bay Boy Burst Evolution, you know. That Red Eyes. That can refuse with the Draden, but it's a different one. It's Red Eyes. The human. Now, what is the black trading? Okay? Anyway, which we all know who Red Eyes was. It was aka Shun Koronai. Now, the special moves that this bay has is Counterplay, Upper Launch, Archer Counterplay, Cur Booster, and Axe Launch. So those are all its special moves that it can do. So this is a balance type. B. Its specialty abilities are adjustable spin direction. So this bay can spin both left and right. Now I can, you know, just spin right, like how most of the majority of, you know, Bay Boys in the burst line and evolution line can spin. But this one can also spin the opposite direction. It can spin left. Um, and its other gimmick is. White spin pattern, adjustable spin direction, so, yeah. And, you know, D-Whites, Sun-Whites, WBBA, BurryBurst.com, all that junk. Attack 7, Burst 3, Defense 2, Weight 7, Agility 4, Stamina 2. So that's pretty cool, it has pretty good stats, I'd say, for a balance type.
So what do we get? Instructions. New whip cord. New launcher. Bigger launcher. A left white spin launcher. So let's see if we can get. There you go. So white and left spin launcher. Really awesome. So here is the parts that we have. So we have Legend Splizen or yeah, Legend Splizen S3. Now note this one has a metal non-removable god chip in there. So yeah, that god chip is made out of metal. And you can actually feel it is made out of metal. Which is kinda cool because I guess apparently Hasbro didn't cheap out and they didn't paint it. So yeah. Metal non-removable god chip in the center of it. Which is the same thing that Takari Tomer did. This was one of the two bays that they made that has a non-removable metal god chip in there. I think the other one was um Bloody Longinus or something like that one. So there's only two bays, but like Takari told me they had metal god chips that were non-removable. As we all know, Hasbro, their god chips are non-removable, so this one kind of fits in. We kind of got like Spryson's heads right here and here. Still got that little claw design going on. And we got a bit of ads, and for some reason we have what looks like ads, but I guess it's supposed to be an ass, but... And the metal would, looks more like an S than an S. And then if we put in its previous evolutions here. Come on. You can kind of see the evolution of Splice and it kind of has like little S. Some go on there. Then it has the claws. One head and then the S. And then finally we get over here where it has the heads. The claws, the bid ats, the wheels, and all that good stuff. So yeah, QR code. Let's see if I got it. Yep, the right way. Come on. So there's the QR code. For Legend Splizen S3. Next up is the disc. This is 7. So it has the number 7 on both sides. Also, why it has 7 is because there are 7 little protrusions on here. So if we hold it this way, you could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is the unbalanced, uneven. Wake this, well, force this, because there's seven little things on here. And each one of these actually are kind of cool because if you look, they are kind of like the little claws on here, just bent a little bit differently. And each one actually is a seven. So if you notice, seven, I'll add you down here, seven, seven. So seven sevens. But something else that's odd is, because this is from the uh, Bayway Burst Evolution Switch Strike line, just like how the Switch Strikes all had their little gimmicks, it does not come with a plastic frame. Or a little PC. Plastic frame, you know? So, which is weird, because, you know, this one's from the Bayway Burst Evolution Switch Strike line, up, and it has a plastic frame, but this one doesn't, so yeah, that's kind of odd. But for this, it's seven, no frame, and then the driver, which, what the heck is it? I don't even know what the design of the driver is. Is it like a little R? Is it 
it's supposed to be the like claw. I had no idea. Then it has like a rubbery bottom that we've seen on like you know the metal metal saga on the El Drago series on the Pegasus series one. So the driver is called Mirage. So you have Legend Spryzen S3 7 Mirage. So let's put this bay together and check it out. So let's bring our bay stadium in here. So we're going to go with the left white launcher and we're going to put it in white spin mode. Ready? Three, two, one, let it rip. So that's kind of the movement when it's in white spin. When you put the uh, whipcord in the new Bay Boy Burst Evolution Swiss Strike Launcher in the white side. That's how it spins. Now if we put it on the left side, 